Junta Ikundakiri Resources for the National Park in County Kerry. Mr Ring, I think, is with us to deal with this particular matter. Uh, Deputy Healy Ray. Yes, thank you very much, uh, and thank you very much for picking this uh, topical debate because it is very important. I, I, I just want to acknowledge the Minister and to acknowledge that he is a Trojan worker in his department, and I respect that very much. Minister, Killarney National Park, in my opinion, is being neglected because not enough resources are being put into the maintenance and care of it. I will be glad to give the Minister here today examples of how our National Park is suffering from lack of investment. The rhododendrons are taking over completely, despite programmes of work over the years to cut them. The deer population has completely exploded over the last number of years. The last survey I could find was carried out in 2008 that showed that in the 30 years previous, the red deer population had increased by 565 per cent and the Sikh deer population by 353 per cent. Could I ask the Minister, have any other further studies since 2008 been carried out on our deer population? And if not, is there an intention to do one in 2017? The reinstating of the nature trails in Mukras, many of the markers along the trails are missing. These trails need to be upgraded. Knockrear Garden at Knockrear House have suffered years of neglect. Dynish Cottage and the adjacent toilets need to be opened as soon as possible. And most importantly, the number of park rangers had been has been reduced from nine to four, with two more to retire next year. This is simply not good enough, Minister. Minister. And what I want to acknowledge is the great and excellent work that has been done by our park rangers in, in their job and the other workers, the grounds people that have been there in the past. I want to acknowledge them. But what has happened, Minister, is the, the resource that we have, which is the beautiful National Park in Killarney. We all know that Killarney is not the tourism capital of Kerry or of Ireland or of Europe, but it is the tourism capital of the world. And I want to put on that on the record of the House. There is no place better in this world than Killarney or its National Park. And I'm asking you, you and I acknowledged you here when, when, when I started. You're not a good politician. You're a Trojan worker. You're an excellent politician. But I want you to become our master for our national park in ensuring that the adequate resources that it requires will be deployed there. Because it's crying out for maintenance, Minister. When trees fall in the national park, they're left to rot inside there. I've raised it here inside in this chamber, and what I've been told is, Oh, it's good for biodiversity to have it rotting in the ground and have the snails and the creepy crawlies growing through it. That's rubbish. We need that timber to be taken out of there and clean it up. Keep the place nice and clean, like the people long ago did before us. And there was great resources put into it before. But now people are inclined to think that when it comes to a national park, that you close these gates and you start to let it off that you don't maintain the deer population, you don't aggressively attack the rhododendrons. The rhododendron situation in Killarney National Park has gone so bad now, Minister. Nothing short of calling in the army is going to put it right, because the, the resources are so much needed there to put it in order. And it is a magnificent resource. It is something that we and Killarney people, Kerry people, have prided themselves in over the years. I want to compliment what I would call conservationists who have stood up for our national park over the years, people like Kevin Tarrant, other, other people from around Killarney town who have given a lifetime of commitment to ensuring uh, th that the national park is preserved for our future generations. Mm -hmm. And I'm pleading with you, Minister, to put the necessary resources you, in Deputy. place. Minister. Say that I agree with a lot of the things you say sometimes, but I totally disagree with you about Killarney. Because as far as I'm concerned, the number one place in Ireland, in Europe and in the world is a place called Westport in County Mayo. And any time you want to come down on the holidays, you're very welcome to come down. And really, you'll see what's really happening down there. Now, thank you for, for raising the issue. Uh, I must begin by strongly refuting absolutely the position as set out in the Deputy Statement. My department has spent over two million in Killarney National Park. Uh, last year. In fact, the Killarney House project within the park, including the wonderful or or ornamental gardens, I opened last year 
will amount to an investment of over 8 million in the park, 5.2 million of which I provided to Falch Ireland when I was Minister for Tourism and Sport. The spend in 2016 represents a large proportion of my department's overall budget for our six national parks and 80 reserves and reflects the commitment and the value that my department places on the park. My department continues to manage the Killarney National Park to abide by the strict criteria and standard for national park as set out by the International Union for Conservation of Nature in 2015. With regard to the issue of rhododendron, as signalled in my response to the Deputy's recent parliamentary question, my department has invested heavily in tackling this invasive species, the control of which is difficult, costly and labour intensive. The management of, of the dynamic and aggressive rhododendron is a long-standing, ongoing programme in the national parks. In the, in, in the past, approximately 3,000 of the 10,000 hectares in the parks were to some extent affected. My department remains of the opinion that the existing management programme has, been made had met, has made significant inroads into the problem. Approximately 2,000 of the 3,000 hectares are under effective control in some 40 different sites. Our ongoing programme of works at this time is, is composed of four elements. The initial clearance and follow-up maintenance work by the contractors, ongoing maintenance work by volunteers and students, a rhododendron management con contract and ongoing work by the National Parks and Wildlife Service staff, including a coordinated research and monitoring. Since 2011, the Department has invested over 700,000 700, to tackle the rhododendron clearance in Killarney National Park. And in 2016 alone, the Department spent €209,611 on clearance. An updated strategic rhododendron management plan is being finalised, and the Department hopes to publish this in the coming months. In 2015, my department appointed a specialist for a two-year period to assist the ongoing rhododendron problem. With regard to deer in Killarney National Park, as part of its regular ongoing management operations, the department may, may carry out localised annual deer culls on state lands if required. There is a significant challenge in attempting to balance the demands of agriculture, forestry and conservation with the need to ensure that deer population occupying the same land resources are managed at a sustainable level and in a responsible and ethical manner. My department commissioned a, compre comp a comprehensive survey and report in the winter of 2016 on, on the distribution, population and population structure of red deer and sika deer in the National Park. The study found that the total estimated red deer over the entire study area of 13.64 kilometres was some 708 deer. On foot of the recent report, staff of my department are currently undertaking a cull of deer in the National Park, which will be concluded by the end of March. In conclusion, my department continues to manage and invest in Killarney National Park and abides by the strict criteria and standards for National Park as set out by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. Thank you, Minister. Deputy. Thank you, Minister. At the outset, with regard to Killarney House, I want to acknowledge the late Jackie Healy Ray, who put Killarney House on the political agenda prior to 2011, when your government took power. Clarny House is cl still closed, Minister. You forgot to say that. I was de delight delighted to be there to welcome you when you came to Clarny, the, the day that a section of it opened on the open day last year. But it's still been closed two years after it was due to open. That is simply not good enough. We want it to be open fully. We want the people to be able to appreciate the money that has been spent there. And I acknowledge greatly the money that has been spent. But you're dealing with two separate issues, Minister. You're relaying a lot of what the money that has been spent in Killarney House. I'm talking to you about our national park and the fact that it is being neglected. You rightly state the money that has been spent. But we're losing the war with regard to the rhododendron. We're losing the war with regard to the deer that are after taking over completely. And we have to acknowledge that there was great management there in the past, and there is great management there at present, but they're being starved of adequate resources. 
and they, they need more help. We need more men and, and women on the ground. We need more people working there every day, just doing the ordinary maintenance. That's all I'm asking you for, Minister. And I'm asking you to recognise that. You know that I'm not a brigade. I wouldn't come in here today saying to you that our national park is being neglected, unless that it genuinely was. I appreciate your reply when you say, how can I say it's being neglected when millions have been sp spent there? Of course millions have been spent there. They've been spent in Clarny House, and rightly so. But I'm talking about maintaining the National Park and keeping it into a living, breathing space where people can go and their children can go to enjoy thank its you, amenities. Deputy. And thank you, Minister. Thank you Minister, much. to conclude. First of all, I just want to say, uh, I, I, I acknowledge your father may have raised the issue, but Jimmy Deenan, and we have to give him credit as well, Jimmy Deenan put a lot of work into this and put a lot of money into it. And I, in fact, I put more money when I was in the Department of Tourism and Killarney House, and don't doubt it, I will be down in the middle of the year to open Killarney House. And a lot of governments, a lot of governments over the 30 or 40 years looked and looked, and they were looking in the window for many, many years and did nothing about it. But to be fair to this government, the last government of this government, we put the money into it. That house will be opened, and it will be superb. When we were down, opened the gardens, you have to admit yourself, it was a tremendous day, a great community day. The people turned out, and they're all asking, when will the house be open? I went in to have a look at the house on that particular day, and I have to say, it will be a tremendous a asset to the tourism project in Killarney, and I'm looking forward to getting down there for the official opening. In relation to the deer, you raise that. We did a report. That <coughs> report is done. We're doing the call. We have to be sensitive. There have to be, we have to be sensitive in relation to it. We accept there's a, there's a problem there, and that problem is now being dealt with. That's why the call has taken place and will be finished by the end of March. You also raised in a, in a previous question, and when I became Minister, the, the National Parks had been starved of money for many, many years. I've been in there fighting to get extra money. At the end of last year, I got a bit extra money. And I also got a commitment from Government. And you're quite, co co quite correct about the Rangers. We have a shortage of Rangers. There's now uh, advertised, and there's eight positions going to be filled. And also, I've got a commitment from government. Well, whoever retires will be replaced, plus the new eight Rangers. And we need a lot more Rangers. The Rangers are there. They have, a, they have a big variety of work to do. They have to cover a lot of the countryside. And they're very important to have them there. In relation to, to, to the, 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 the rhododendron problem, we're trying to tackle that. When I say this today, to put out the record. I'm asking the community down there, and I know there has been differences in relation to the way that this has been dealt with. I'm putting out a call today to the community to come in and talk to the, apart the, the department officials. In Britain, the communities come into the national parks, they work with the government to keep our national parks open. I'm calling on the people of Killarney to sit down with the department to see what support and help they can give us to deal with this very serious problem Thank you, that Mr. we have in Killarney Park. Thank you very